What is up guys? This is United Gamer 101 here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Demon Souls. In this part we're gonna be helping this guy from Boltaria get through this. So what I like to do right here, we have plenty of fire bombs to last right now. I like to them throwing some bombs on there. Go ahead and kill these guys. And if you did start off like a thief like me, you can go ahead and pull out your bow and just go ahead and start sniping them down. Let's see here. Take them out. I got terrible aim. <laughs> it will not kill him in one hit because this is probably a terrible bow. Uh, you will find some uh, other good bows throughout the game, and I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and jump down there. We have uh, we got enough enemies dead. Mainly, want to take out those guys with the fire swords right now, because if they set you on fire, you're more vulnerable to getting hurt. Now, right there, I picked out this thing called turpentine. It will set your weapon on fire, which is very helpful for the first boss. Thought I'd point that out there. What do you have to say now? My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. That basically allows you to scope down. If you have a bow, you really don't need it, but it's your choice what you want. Can I break through this? There we go. I knew there was a guy in here. But that's one thing. You can go ahead and kill him and pick up this item for the key. It's what you use to go versus King Old Doran. Uh, that will turn you more evil, like I said, and evil makes the game harder, But uh, although you get more experience. So it's your choice. It's both got faults, perks, and stuff. But we got it, guys. This is the Scimitar. I actually really enjoy this weapon, especially for my, me and high and agility and stuff. Go ahead and clip it. What I like to do, I like two-handing this weapon. And I just run through and I take these guys out. Weapon's really good in my opinion, but I really need to get my endurance up in order to take these guys out better. You're dead. I need to switch back to healing. Now, I, must go. I don't care about you. I don't want to talk to you. Where's the stupid corpse? No matter, is that? Grab it, thank you. Alright, right here you're gonna find some items you need to this game. I'm trying to point out as much as I can to show you guys. Right here, go ahead and take this. Unknown Hero Souls. I wanna go ahead and point this out. There's these things, souls you can pick up. You can use them to gain more souls, which is, you know, experience. What I like to do right here is go ahead and pick up your firebombs if you want. You can save these for the boss, which is also good. But go ahead and just throw it down. I don't want to risk dying. That was terrible through. You will find more of these, so don't worry. You, we already have plenty. The boss, you don't actually have to have those for the false, first boss fight. It will make it a little bit easier. It's all, it's all what you want. I like just, you know, mainly trying my best to survive the game and not die. That way, uh, you know, I, I'll get to the boss, but I have plenty of, you know, I'm already there, so I don't really need the firebombs. I can take him down without it. Let's go ahead and switch back to healing. Now, you remember when we dropped off down here? You will make it back up there. It's just like a different route to take, except you do find a weapon down here. That's why I like it, and you get to save uh, Ostrovar, or whatever his name is. And go. Let's go take this guy out. Scimitar, very good weapon in my opinion, but it does run down your endurance when you're two-handing a weapon, so that's one thing to notice. Now we're almost at the end of this level, and then we're going to have the little boss fight, which will probably be safe for the next part, so if you're just looking for that, go ahead and skip this part if you want. I'm trying to show you everything I know about this game, that way, for those who need like help throughout the game, because this game is pretty difficult, will know where to go and what to do. So it's kind of a st strategic let's play at the moment. It might change. Don't know exactly how I'm planning to run this let's play. It's a pretty long game. I'm just, you know, basically right now being glad to do it uh, and to show it you guys because it needs more advertisement. And more people need to know about this game. This game is very... I love this game. Definitely probably one of my favorite RPGs there is. Okay, let's go ahead and move on up here. Let's see. Anyone else? Yes, I know there's Bozeman. Now there's one more guy I really don't want to die against. It's one more blue-eyed knight. It's going to be right up here. My strategy for this is always just run through him, try to get him attacked, and stab him in the back. Best strategy I have for any of you guys out there. And this guy, you know, uh, they can do damage, but if you got the clean ring uh, like me, it's very going to be good for this game. And that does the most damage, so watch out. Don't get, don't die right now. Like I said, there's no checkpoints. So you'll start out back at the beginning and you'll lose all your souls in the bottom right hand corner. I wanted to fall. Wait, he died, right? Hopefully. <laughs> okay, guys, we have the last fog right here. Let's go ahead and enter it. Now, there's one little thing right here. 
I mean, uh, there's so many things in this game, it's kind of ridiculous, but you run out here, there's an army of people waiting for you. What you want to do is, if I can move, you're wanting to... There we go. You're supposed to hit that open and let the boulders roll down there and kill all the enemies. That's what you're, you know, it's a little thing to help you get through this. You can just take them down if you want. It's just so much easier. It knocks them all out. You get the experience for it, and you don't have to risk getting hurt and wasting your potions. There's something back here, I think. Or maybe not. Let's just make sure. Destroy this. Or maybe you can't. <laughs> okay, a couple more guys of enemies, and then you're going to be at the last part of the game to versus the boss. You got these little guys right here. For some reason, these guys remind me of Raiden from Mortal Kombat, if you guys have ever played that. Good game. I actually mainly like the PS2 ones. I don't really like the recent ones as much. I liked Mortal Kombat Deception because it had a good story mode. But, it just reminded me of that. Okay, so you're going to get to this part right here. And, and you're just thinking, how am I going to get through all of this? You know, all these enemies right here waiting for me, and i got to get through it to get to the other side. Well... And then what's this? What is that? Oh, and I get I gotta get past a dragon. That's always good. Now, once he starts blowing fire, run. Get out of there. He's gonna take those enemies out for you, except the ones in the front and the very back. So get out of there. Let him take the enemies out. You still get the experience for it. No worries. And then once you take those guys out, just go over here and hide. He will eventually lead there, and then you just gotta sprint right through the thing. Now, if you're slow, like you started out as a knight or something, I really recommend... Wait, just by the way, there's one over there. You can go ahead and burst them. If you want, you'll die. Don't worry. You need to be a lot further up the game before you try to take them on right there. Okay, he's left. But if you t if you were as a knight, I would take off all your... Not all your armor, but enough to make it where you're like me in the high in agility. Let my endurance run up. Don't try to get items. It's not what you need to do. God, get out of here. Move! Go! Okay, I'm good. Oh, gosh, that scared me. Because, you know, I mean, they're not moving, so I'm kind of getting scared here. Oh, okay, God, here he is. Oh, don't worry, you're good. You're at the end of the game, guys. Yeah, sorry, I got a little intense right there. I get kind of scared because this game, you know, I don't want to die right here at the end of the level and then have to start over. But go ahead and pull this lever, and it's going to open the gate to the first boss. Now you don't have to go through this game at all. Even if you die at the first boss, you can start the game level over, go in there, pick up your souls, and you'll be okay. Well, there you go. That's the boss, guys. Now, you do have to go through this game, uh, this level, you know. There are some enemies over here. You have to make it back to the beginning. Not too bad. Don't worry about it. Uh, there. Just don't die. <laughs> you still don't want to die right now. Once you get back to the beginning, it's going to be okay. But I really recommend going to pick up that turpentine. Very helpful item for the first boss, especially. Now, right here, there's going to be a couple guys waiting for you with those little spears. Go ahead and kill them. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, I just realized how almost dead I am. That would have not been good. Let's go ahead and just drink a half moon grass. Gosh, I wasn't paying attention. That's dumb on my part. Did they just kill one of their enemies? I mean, their teammates? One of my enemies? Okay, go ahead. I mean, I'm all good with that. Feel free to kill your own players. Okay, so now you've made it. There's these little slug guys you gotta get past. They're not too bad. And, you know, the fire little zombies. There's these slug guys. Now, what is that? Is that the spear that boss just threw at me? So, is he going to be a big one of those? Well, no. He's not a big one of these. It's really weird how they did this boss fight. He's a gigantic, like, blob of nothing. And he's surrounded by a little one of those. It's just like 40, 40 of them around a gigantic little circle. And if you take out all of these guys, the the main boss can't even hurt you. So it's not a difficult boss fight. Really easy in my opinion. But you know, they're trying to introduce you to the game to you, but not it's gonna be it's not gonna be too hard. Even though I remember me and my friend, three of my friends and me got the game at the same time when we all got the game. And um one of my friends was like, Dude, it's so hard. What will I, what you're not gonna get through it, man. And then it beat it first try, and everyone beat it on the first try except him. It was pretty funny. 
Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next part. Where we can enter the gigantic fog and burst the boss. Hopefully, we will not get a death and we can get through the game. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, as always. Leave some feedback, a like, and check out my channel if you want. Anyways, guys, see you guys next time on the boss fight of our first Let's Play of Demon Souls, part four.